Hey everybody, Zach again at NewTutorial.com coming in and making a video for you guys today. We're going to continue on with our FAQ series, answering the most common questions that we get, I get on a regular basis when it comes to Torah and understanding, you know, that sin is still important and we need to be turning from it as believers. And, um, you know, the Father gave his commandments for blessings. And if you don't, do not follow those commandments, you what you get is curses. And so let's go on to the next one. The next one is number four. All creatures of God are good. Have you ever heard this one? You know, when you tell people, listen, man, I'm not eating pork anymore. Um, I just, I, I believe that the Bible says we shouldn't be eating some things. There's certain things that the Father says are food and certain things they're not. And the rebuttal, the people, the, the thing that they argument that they come to you with is, but Zach, it says right here, all creatures of God are good, Zach. We can eat anything. Nothing is to be refused. And the simple rebuttal for this is, that's not what it says. Easy. That's not what it says. Notice the word if there. Let's read the verse. This gets a cherry pick award. Right off the bat, cherry pick award because this is the one, emo, one of the most cherry picked and misinterpreted, taken out of context verses you will find in your entire Bible. Because this is one of the first verses people turn to when it says, hey, listen, I can eat anything I want. Let's go ahead and read the verse. It says, For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. See right there, Zach. It says, Every creature of God is good. Okay, so did God create the piggy? Sure he did. That means it's good. Did God create the lobster? Yeah, absolutely. That means it's good. And nothing, Zach, is to be refused. Right there it says. So if you don't want to eat pork, that's fine. But don't think that God doesn't want us to eat pork because, I mean, it says right here, every creature of God is good and nothing's to be refused. That's where they stop. If, if it be received with thanksgiving. And how they'll interpret this is, a, well, yeah, when I get a ham sandwich, I'm thankful for it. That's all that matters. If I get a catfish filet, I'm thankful for it. If I get a lobster tail, I'm thankful for it. And so right there, it's received with thanksgiving. No, no, no. <laughs> See, this is why it gets the cherry pick award, and this is why it's one of the most misused, out of context verses in your entire Bible. It's because it's what God gives you. It's not about what the server at Red Lobster gives you. It's about what the Father gives you. See, I hand you a dollar, and you say, thank you, thank you. If I give you a gift, you say, thank you. The Father also gave us things. He also gives us gifts. He, he gives us food, and when he, and we say, Thank you. See, that's all given in Leviticus chapter 11. He says, this is what will be as food, and this is what will not be used as food. And you say, thank you. It's received from God with thanksgiving. When God gives you something, you say, thank you. So when it says, if it be received with thanksgiving, that's because he gave us food. And I can prove that's the exact correct context by the, by the next verse. Let's take a look at it. It says, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. See, sanctified means to be set apart. Where in the word of God is food, sanctified means set apart from something else as not food. It's Leviticus 11. That's where in the word of God, it's you're given food, it's received with thanksgiving, it's set apart from other things because in Leviticus 11 it says, you can eat this, you shall not eat that. You can eat that, you can eat that, but you shall not eat this. Sanctified, that's what sanctified means, to be set apart. When you are sanctified, you are set apart from something else. And so, all creatures of God are good, you know, and nothing's to be refused. If it was received with thanksgiving in Leviticus 11 when he gave it to you, and you said thank you, for there it is sanctified by the word of God. That's it. It's said simple. And so these people use this verse to, to manipulate and, and, you know, manipulate their own mind to think that they can eat anything. That's not what the verse is saying. These people, these people of the New Testament who wrote these books, you know, these believers in our Messiah never sat down and ate a ham sandwich. Just did not. Or a catfish filet or lobster tail. They knew what was food. They knew what was to be received with thanksgiving because it was sanctified by the word of God. It's that simple. We'll continue on with the series. Stay tuned. More great stuff coming up. All right, go home, read your Bible. Thanks.